it's uh, morning everybody or afternoon whatever we want to call this this is the day after uh, uh, diesel left us so haven't been filming much today I'm out and about right now uh, Theo was napping and so was Britt trying to catch up on some sleep I've got all my stuff for the truck ready uh, the truck went into PBX for a service uh, full service got a bunch of other little things done to it so it's ready to go, but I've got to get all my stuff back into it because I took everything out of it. And I got to get everything packed back in there, Tetris back in there. I'm here, you can see, at Superstore in Steinbach. I got to get some groceries for the road um, and for the truck. So I'm just sort of wandering around, getting a few things done today. Sort of distracted, as you may imagine. You know, 13 years. Diesel's been my my best friend for nine of those years. He was with me every single day wherever I went for the most part And it's just like last night when we went to bed. It was just all of the memories come flooding back, right? Oh, that was hard all of those memories of us riding Together in the truck going to all these different interesting places making silly videos together posting them on the internet <laughs> meeting a lot of you uh, he was the star of the channel. He, uh, I'm sure you guys would agree with that. Diesel was Trucker Josh Vlogs. It, it should have been Diesel Weasel Vlogs. <laughs> I always called him Diesel, Lord of all weasels. But now he's in his own kingdom. He is now the king of all weasels. He's graduated. He's, I always bugged him. I, I'm the king and you're my lord. You serve but you're lord of all weasels and woozles. <laughs> I sure hope there's something after this, you know, for dogs. I sure hope that he's up there waiting for me to get there too. I, I sure hope that, uh... <sighs> they say all dogs go to heaven and why wouldn't they, right? They're pure love. When people describe who God is, they always say, God is love. And dogs, well, he's Diesel. That was his very essence. His whole spirit was just unconditional love for everyone around him. He taught me a lot about love too, right? How could that not be from God? Of course that's from God. And I hope that that energy that he had in his spirit, his soul, whatever dogs have, I hope they go somewhere nice after this. I believe that they have to. It has to be, right? Uh, so many good memories. Going on our long walks together. We used to have to walk like four kilometers or like almost three miles just for him to slow down to my pace because he was just ready to go and had so much energy. Oh, well, I could go on and on and on here, but... Uh, I'll cut this clip short. I'm gonna go in there, get my groceries, and then we gotta go over to Old Blue. Get Old Blue to get uh, get ready to go back on the road. Because life goes on. You know, our dogs that we have, I've had them for 13 years. It's just a, a portion of my life. A big portion of my life. But for him, that was his whole life. I'll definitely be... Uh, I'll definitely be remembering him forever. That's for sure. Anyways, let's not get all teary-eyed before we go into the supermarket. Let's pull ourselves together here and let's, let's go get a few things done. Well, Blue, you're all ready to go. All loaded up with all my stuff. Got a few things done to it, aside from the service. Uh, I got an exhaust clamp replaced there got that all fixed up we have uh on the other side here my power steering hoses uh were given out on me beginning to leak a little bit took care of that there we got a new one right here here to there also a new one from the back there to there and this is all nicely cleaned up took care of all of that so, yeah, I just got all my stuff in here now, and I've uh, just been listening to music real loud. 
I don't want to take too long here because I want to go back home. Uh, spend the night there. I haven't had any word from work yet about a new load. It's five minutes to five o'clock right now and they go home at five. So that's the end of the day. So there, if there's nothing now, there won't be anything till tomorrow at least. So I guess we'll go home, have a good sleep and see what's up tomorrow. Got everything in here all set and ready to go. The bed is made. All my groceries are in there. And that's that. It's a dirty truck right now. He's dirty, but it's that season. It's a dirty season. So let's head back to the house. I haven't showed you Diesel's ramp, or have I? I might have made a separate video showing you the ramp I made for Diesel uh, before he passed on. He was at least able to use it for the last week, I believe, of his life, which made it a lot easier for him to get up and down because he couldn't do those stairs anymore. But by the end of that week, I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't even get up on his own. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get myself together here. Let's go back to the house. Truck is ready to go tomorrow. Whenever I got a load, all I gotta do is run over here, start her up, go. I've done my pre-trip already, so I'll do another pre-trip, of course, before I leave again, just to see if anything happened, I guess. Just have to put that in there as a disclaimer. Before I leave on a trip, I will do my pre-trip. But I did it now anyway, just to make sure there's no surprises, right? I'll just... we'll make sure that nothing uh, moved when I come back. <laughs> Chevy. So this is the ramp. If I haven't shown you already, I'll, I'll show you again if I have. I built this out here. And it goes down there towards the door so that the dogs have an easier time getting out. Built it for Diesel. And, uh, Theo's just getting up from his nap right now, so uh, cue the craziness. <laughs> So yeah, those are the same stairs that were just leading up, just up to the door there before. But I, I built this platform here. I'm not a carpenter, but I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, the hardest part, because that ramp is a separate piece, the hardest part was getting that ramp to match the exact height of this platform here. And getting this in here was a little bit difficult. I have to finish it up yet because since Diesel's gone, uh, you know, we figured we're gonna leave it here. Wiener's getting old and he needs a, a ramp as well. So we're gonna leave it there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it off with a piece of plywood just to close up this section here and then we're gonna paint it to match these stairs here. And, uh, and yeah, we'll leave it there. Whoa, hey buddy. <laughs> you think I built this for you, right? Yeah? I'm gonna show them how you do the stairs. Yeah? Okay. You do the stairs all by yourself. All by yourself. Good job. Good job. One, two, and three. Good job. <laughs> when I first built it, he, he came in here, he was so excited. I guess he thought it was like a, a playground for him. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down this ramp until he was all sweaty. <laughs> you want to show him how you go down the ramp? Yeah? He's got to be careful. I have to build a railing on here yet. There'll be a railing here, a little gate here like we have in front of our stairs. Oh, you want to close the door? Okay. Okay, you just, just be careful over here. Okay. You want to go down the ramp with me? Let's go down the ramp. Woo! Call that the, the diesel ramp or the weasel ramp. How about that? Okay, here we go. Up, 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 up. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Just be careful here. Daddy hasn't built a, ra uh, a railing here yet, so I'll build one here going down there yet. Yeah. And uh, over there. For now, we just gotta be careful. Watch them. Yeah. Okay, buddy, let's go inside. Okay, can I go inside? No, not yet? Okay, okay, okay. You go down by yourself this time, okay? Go on, you can do it. Whoa, whoa, wow. That's fun, right? Fun. Yeah? <laughs> That's fun. You hear mommy? You hear mom? There's Chevy. Yeah. There's a Chevy. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Chevy, you gonna watch him? Hey Chevy. Hey buddy. Yeah, this ramp is for you too, you know. But you don't need it yet. You don't need it, but you can use it anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chevy is. Chevy, can you back up a little bit, please? Can you back up? Yeah. Go down there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you just be careful here though, okay? Be careful here. All right, Chevy? Be careful. You got big shoes to fill. Big paws. You're the big guy in the house now, man. You're the big one. Yeah, you missed Diesel too, eh? Yeah, I know, bud. I know. Yeah, we'll go outside. What's this dust? The neighbors beat me to their Christmas lights again. It's that time of year again, right? Come on, Jeff. Come here, you want to go outside too? Come on, buddy. Come on. Theo's on his nap right now. Come on, buddy. Come on. T -t 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 Today, Junior. Come on. Seriously, Winnie. Come on. He's. <laughs> it's like following somebody who's going really slow. Every once in a while, I like to, like, if I'm following a driver, like a truck driver, like a local hauler who's just, you know, obviously getting paid by the hour. Uh, <laughs> I always try to get him on the CB and say, like, hey. Must be nice to get paid by the hour, eh? Man, you're doing 80 in a 100 zone, man. <laughs> That's what I think of when I'm like a wiener. He's, he's always so slow moving around everywhere. He's a senior citizen, you have to understand. Better to move slow than to move too quick and throw out your hip. Right, wiener? No, not funny. I'm trying to be funny. It's, it's hard to be funny today. I'm trying to find our sense of humor. Maybe that was a swing and a miss. I don't know. So yeah, it's uh, about time for our uh, Christmas lights to go up soon, eh? So what I like to do, it never happens, but what I like to do is... Uh, Come on guys, let me get out of here. Oh, there you go. I'm coming out with you, don't worry. I like to set them up, uh, if possible, in like October when it's a little bit warmer, because it gets cold pretty quick here, right? But they don't get turned on until uh, November 12th after Remembrance Day. But I haven't put any up this year yet. They already got their tree lit up there. It's gonna probably inspire me to get mine done, I guess, I, eh? I'm thinking of putting a few up tomorrow. We'll see. It's a beautiful evening. Though that sun goes down really early now. It's not even supper time yet. I think it's what, 5.30, if that? Maybe five o'clock? Crazy, right, remember? When I was sitting back there filming at like nine o'clock, not, not too long ago, a couple months ago. It's like nine o'clock in the evening and the sky was brighter than this. And I know, I know those, I talk about this every year. But every year I'm equally as amazed by this planet, it's crazy. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. It's life up in the north, right? The closer you get to the equator down south, the, the less you notice the difference in the sunlight hours. Yeah, I gotta start putting some Christmas lights up soon. We've gotta bring some cheer to this home. So, uh, you know, it's, it's still pretty warm out today. It was about 10 degrees Celsius, which is probably in the 40s of Fahrenheit, maybe close to 40, 45. So not too cold. But uh, it's, it's still warm enough to put up some lights. I at least got to get the red and green out in the front. We have uh, probably just the basics. We were going to go all out this year. Like we always have these big plans for our Christmas lights, right? But, uh, it's a money issue this year. We had a lot of things going on this year and I want to be very careful. Uh, we're doing fine, but I want to be doing better than fine. I want to be doing great financially. 
anyone who lives in Canada right now knows that we got to be careful with how we spend our money. Things are very expensive, especially groceries. Man. Just feeding, like just the two of us and, and Theo, so two adults and one toddler. The amount of money we spend just into food for us, and we, we don't go out much. We buy a lot of our food and make it at home. I've started making food at home and taking it on the road with me, so I don't eat on the road anymore. I like eat out on the road. It's still just incredible the amount of money we spend. That's the way it is right now. All we can do is hope for change. Come on, Wiener. Use that weasel ramp. Let's see, the ramp is good for Wiener as well. Because, you know, I make jokes that he's the old guy now, but he's doing really good. Like, look at him, like, like look at that Wiener. Like, that is a good looking Wiener. Like, it's, he's a healthy Wiener, you know? And we want to keep him that way, but. Britt has taken very good care of him. He's 14 years old. He's older than Diesel was. And uh, little dogs live longer, usually. But, I mean, by looking at him now, I, I really feel like he's got a few years at least. But, so, I, I thought that of Diesel, too. And, you know, they, they seem like they're doing so well and that they're so healthy. And it happens so quick when their health goes down. All of a sudden something goes and then it's just like a cascading water, like waterfall effect. It's like one thing after another after another and then before you know it, it's the end. And their lives are too short, you know? You guys be quiet in there. They feel sleeping. Don't wake them up. Did I lock that door? Always have to double check. Yes, I did. Okay. Are you like that too? Like, I can be certain I locked my doors. I'll still have to go back and double check. I won't be able to sit still until I go and double check. I like that everywhere. Even before I go to bed at night in the truck. Before I go to bed, I'll check like two or three times to make sure my doors are locked and everything's turned off properly. And how I am, I guess. Not much to show you today. We're just hanging out at home. We have a couple of days coming at home here, and then I've got a trip, uh, a short one, Kenora, Brainerd, and back, just to get me moving for the week, because my truck has been in the shop getting serviced. Uh, so it's, uh, this whole week is kind of a wash. Didn't get much done, but we'll make up for it in the following week. But thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, thanks for being there for me, and for Britt, and for our family in this difficult time. I'm sure a lot of you have gone through this same thing before, so you understand fully. Some people might think, oh, it's just a dog. <laughs> I understand why you think that. It's because you've never had a dog. <laughs> uh, or maybe you're, you come from a family where the mindset is, you know, dogs are working animals. Well, that's not really the culture here in Canada. Like, dogs are very much part of the family. In different countries, it's different, but here they, uh, it's like, it's like losing a, a best friend brother. It's so sad that they don't live longer. Some people have already been asking me, are you going to get another one? I have no plans for that right now. We have Chevy and Wiener now and we're going to keep it at two. One day I could see myself maybe getting another co-driver, a little buddy for the road, but that's not even in the back of my mind yet. Especially now, I mean, Diesel just left us. It's not going to be on my mind for a long time yet, but you know, for those of you who need to know, I mean, I've been asked it several times, maybe one day, but no plans for it right now. I'm happy with just the way things are now. And we will uh, work on getting past this loss first, <laughs> obviously. There's no other dog out there that could replace Diesel. So I don't even want to think about it. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Um, if you like my road content and you like the general content of my channel, I ask that you subscribe, please. It helps me out. Come along for my journey. I've been making videos here for 13 years. You can see the entire life of Diesel here online. Uh, my playlists are all organized by year. Go and check them out on my main channel. If you want to learn more about me, you can go to the description below any one of my videos, or you can go to my playlists and go all the way back and catch up. 
from a long, long time ago. We're going to continue making these videos way into the future yet, so there's just lots more to come. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when I release new videos almost every day. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Talk to you later.